Hello guys, so in this short tutorial we are going to learn what a knowledge graph is and how we can get a knowledge graph for our company or for our organization. Now, as said knowledge graph is used by Google starting from 2012 just to provide the results on Google search as an intelligent resource. So as we know, Google used to provide the information about different companies before 2012. However, Google was not eligible enough or was not advanced enough to provide the answers of questions we have or people ask on Google. In 2012, Google has decided to give those answers on Google search. That is what Knowledge Graph is all about. So let's search something that is quite popular. So let's say Tom Cruise. Now if I just search for Tom Cruise. I get some information to the right hand side. We're starting from the data which Google takes from a Wikipedia page. This is all, so the information in the top box is coming from Wikipedia page. Then you have different quotes, C might be coming from wiki quotes. Then you have list and information in the form of panels. And then in the end you have people also such as food. Now this information is entirely coming from Google but nowhere else. Now, so it's not about the public, you know, actor or public known figure only. It's all about if you just type any big company name, let's type Facebook. So if I just type Facebook, on the basis of the research or on the, on the basis of the searches people have made in the past, Google is providing answers to them, to us. Now, if you can see it also includes the stock price of Facebook which is not coming from Wikipedia but coming from a stock price website. So Google is intelligent enough to capture the data or capture the information from different websites. Now you must you must be thinking how to get these knowledge graphs. If there is a page, if there is a portal from where you can apply for knowledge graph but there is not. You don't have an option to get this knowledge graph created for you. Now there are some ways using which you can get the knowledge graph. Way number one, you should have a Google Plus account. <coughs> Either a profile or a Google Plus page, which you can make after visiting plus.google.com. Now, once you create a profile or a page, you have to provide the basic information about your company. After you provide the information, claim your listing. Now claiming the profile means claiming your address so that Google can display your address on Google search or on Google Plus or third thing is on Google Maps, exactly. Now let's take an example. So let's say I'm searching for an organization, uh, let's say Microsoft. Well, let's say company, let's say Honda, H-O-N-D-A, Honda. Now if you can see these locations, now this location is coming from Google Plus page only after they verifies their listing or they claim their listing. Now just try to have some good information on your Google Plus profile like about the address, phone number, opening hours. Link your website with Google Plus page and then provide some information, some more information about the kind of business and the kind of services you provide. Number one. Now moving further, get listed in Freebase, Wikipedia and Wikidata. Now these three are the resources of Google from where Google picked the information. Now Freebase is a third party website. Oh, which is available on freebase.com now this is like a knowledge base of Google Google picks or used to pick the information from freebase earlier but now they are migrating into Wikidata okay now this is like freebase you can make a profile put some information or sign up for free, free, uh, freebase providing your own information now the second thing which you need to have is to have a Wikipedia profile. This is must now. You should have a Wikipedia page so that Google can actually capture the data. Now if I just look for your personality, let's say uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Leo 
Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, if you can see, most of the information regarding Leonardo da Vinci is coming from Wikipedia page, and these quotes are coming from wiki quotes. And then this information is intentionally and directly coming from Google itself basis on the former searches now so try to remember you should have a Wikipedia page now there's a slight difference between Wikidata and Wikipedia now which is quite hard to understand due to which I have mentioned a video at the, in the description so you can watch the video so that you can understand what Wikipedia what Wikidata is however just to give you a short story Wikidata is like an advanced feature of Wikipedia so right now if you have information on one of the Wikipedia page in English and then you have the same information that's about the Prime Minister or the President of America okay on the page in French now the information in English would be conflicting with the information in French because they don't have a same database now that's the reason Wikipedia is trying to migrate into Wikidata so that they can have it, they can have a same database and then from that database they can use their media wiki softwares to transfer the pages or translate those pages into different uh, languages so in these days like Google I'm sorry Wikipedia have 285 languages however most of the pages are only available in English so if someone is searching for an article in French language he won't be able to get the article because that's only available in English now once they would be transferring all the data or once the data is available in UK data they can transfer the language from their database into Wikipedia page now so which is must now third thing is how to use a structured data so now structured data has something to do with your website which means using some codes or you know using some information through or from the website schema.org putting those codes on your website so that the major search engines like Google Yahoo or Microsoft Bing can understand what does language means so you have to get some data get some codes from the schema.org apply those codes on the website and this also helps you to rank your website in the top rankings on google.com or yahoo or in bing so these are the information you have to get and i hope after getting or applying these information on different tools using different articles you will be start showing up your company name on google that's all